Randy and Diane, Eric Davis, Hayden Sea Airstream. Wanted to thank you for uh, stopping by. I just want to do a quick walk around on this 25, give you some info that maybe you might not uh, absorb as you're going through. Uh, want to do, it's windy out here, so hopefully you can hear me, but we're going to do a quick walk around and then we'll head inside. Um, Lexan, Lexan, and then to stainless steel. Great thing is this can be polished and buffed out. Of course, the aluminum cannot. This, uh, both of these pivot out so you can get in behind them. Then, of course, you've got the twin 30 tanks. You've got the dual 12-volt deep cell batteries. You've got Barker power system. There's also access in front to put a uh, generator hooked up in front to the unit also. There is also a quick disconnect for the uh, LP. So if you wanted to add uh, a gas grill or possibly an outside uh, LP source, all of that can be done on the 25. Very cool. Let's do the walk around. We talked about the storage. Storage everywhere in the um, 25 foot flying cloud. Also, access to electric. We talked about the LED lamp, which confirms that your shore power is hooked up. Satellite and TV hookup. You have this great uh, black water flush valve combined with the um, interior inlet for uh, your water, which by the way has that inside regulator. No, no need to worry about the pressure. You have an outdoor shower, hot and cold running water. Uh, also very cool. Um, moving back, you have the Atwood system, and of course you have lighted, lighted sewer with uh, your gray and black water and more storage. Storage front, storage rear. Uh, that's what sets up. And of course we talked about all the Airstream windows that go with the flying cloud. Okay, on, Randy. Randy and Diane, we talked about all of the windows are all tempered glass. They've got that UV filter. They act as jealousy windows, being that you have, uh, if you will, awnings which go with. All of the lighting is all LED, inside and out. You're going to lose very, use very little power that way. Very cool thing. We talked about having a trunk. A trunk with the inside diamond plate interior. Great storage area there. Also, if you remember, we talked about how you have storage here, but you also have the undermount storage for your uh, sewer hose. So once again, storage, storage, storage everywhere. Come on around. Okay, your potable water is locked up. And of course, that is centered in between the two axles. Those axles, rubber torsion bar axles, and you see we combine that with the shock absorber, which means all your stuff is going to get that smooth ride. I love the fact that we have the outside LED and you've got 20 plus foot of awning in the, in the flying cloud, which is kind of the best of the best. What I love about the flying cloud, first of all, is the construction. Not only the construction of the screen door, which is fully welded, but the construction of the Airstream door. By the way, Diane, remember I told you that each one of these Airstreams are individually keyed. Uh, you have both a bolt lock and a regular lock on these doors. Eight hours for Airstream to manufacture just a single door. It says a little bit about what Airstream is all about quality-wise. Come on in, let's take a look at the inside of the Flying Cloud. Okay, as you walk into the interior of the Flying Cloud, what first of all presents are all your controls are at your fingertips. You have your rheostatted lighting, you have your exterior lighting, and you have your battery disconnect all at your fingertips. So that's when you walk into the platform, which is very cool. What you first notice about the interior here would be the golden ultra leather done with the mica surfaces here in Wilson Art Laminate. You have this beautiful maple veneer work which is done and look at the quality here. This is all bolted hardware. It's not screwed. It's not glued. It's all about bolting in the best of the okay, best. Okay Randy and Diane, I'm back doing the video. I actually had to step off the planet for a second. The uh, thing about the 25-foot flying cloud is all of the light that spills in. 
not only from the LED lights, which we know they take very little power, they're all LED, they're on rheostat, so you can vary the intensity, but you have window, you have vista view window with shade, you have overhead fantastic fan, and you have overhead uh, skylight. So once again, these platforms are all about letting the light in. As you see in this platform, you have also, you have LED reading lamps, under light reading lamps, and then you have this beautiful um, ultra leather that comes all the way around so that you can drop this into a double and certainly extend this so you can have more sleeping capability. These all come equipped with two TVs. They're HD LED TVs and the picture quality is amazing and by the way where we're sitting right now if this TV is hooked up I've got 28 channels of free TV even though you're wired for satellite you don't need any of that so let's go midship and check out the galley as you go midship in the 25 what immediately uh, you see is all the beautiful Wilson art laminate the deep well uh, stainless steel sinks all mowing uh, appliances as far as all of the um, uh, faucets are concerned. The storage in the 25 is actually extremely extensive both under and of course all of the interior drawers which are all side mounted steel rides with locking capability and then you have all this beautiful storage on top even to the point where with your vented fan here you have access to the entire surface. Just really cool. Triple burner high output range now this is 25 is equipped with both the oven and the convection microwave. Diane, I know you're a cook. Whether you use it all the time or not, you know that all the appliances are here. Um, the big Domenic refrigerator. Uh, and of course, what then becomes very cool is all of the pantry space that is located in the 25. I love the setup. And of course, as you start to move midship, what also becomes apparent is that you can separate the entire front deck from the midship of the uh, 25. Come on back, let's take a look at midship. As you move to the center of the travel trailer, what you'll find is you've got beautiful wardrobe, plenty of storage as far as the wardrobe is concerned, and then you move into the lavatory. And what I love about the lavatory, plenty of room to change your socks, Wilson Art Laminate, Combined with that uh, beautiful stainless steel uh, sink, you've got self-wicking. Um, oh, I'm sorry, you move into the shower then, which is a stand-up shower. You've got beaded, beaded glass, beaded glass entry into that. By the way, you have vent fans in both the lavatory and the uh, shower, which I love because we know water is the bane of all travel trailers existence. As you move all the way back, you'll see that you can also separate midship with the master bedroom. I love the design, the design of the 25. We talked about it, Diane. Does it get any better than this? Come on back. As you move into the master bedroom, what really becomes apparent is, first of all, all the light. You have, of course, all the um, Airstream windows that move into the panoramic move windows that move into the headboard windows. They all have, uh, you have the LED lighting and it can be varied in intensity. Uh, you have an additional 22 inch TV and also you have all of this storage. So the underbed storage in the, in the um, walk around queen gives you, I, I think for the platform, the best amount. You have built-in nightstands that have the electric uh, hookups, and you have additional wardrobe and um, cabinet space. So once again, the 25-footer, the way that the, the, the platform for the master sets up, and let's not forget our heating and cooling system, which is the Dometic. This is a set it and forget it system. In other words, hit the button, set your temperature, you can do it, and by the way, this also has a heat pump. So not only do you have the furnace, you've got your overhead AC unit, 
but with that combined you have an, a heat pump which means you're only going to be utilizing your shore power as opposed to uh, cutting into your propane. Just some very small details but I think something that's very cool. I love the 25 foot platform. Diane and Randy just wanted to thank you for all the time you've uh, uh, spent with Haydesy and checking out uh, what is the best of the best. We talked a little bit about, remember, the Wally Byam Caravan Club International, the courtesy parking that goes with that. Uh, we're buying the membership. That's, that's part of what, and we don't charge any prep fees, any service fees, any checkout fees. So, you know, kind of what you see is what you get. Um, give me a shout out if you can. My phone is 41, I'm sorry, 614-279-8880. Or you can get me at eric at haydesy.com. Once again, uh, we appreciate you guys coming out and spending some time with us. The 25 foot uh, doesn't get any better than this. If I can answer any questions, give me a shout out. And I want to make sure you guys have a happy camping experience.